Eclipse. Today's Monday. These are from Walmart. This is Ralph Lauren. This is Abercrombie and & Fitch. And my shoes are Puma. Yeah, I did my tan again. And, like, honestly, like, I tried it with a new moisturizer. And it didn't really distribute evenly. So, of course. The Isle of Paradise drops just so are not it for me. I feel like most of the time they don't look good at all. Or they just look orange. And, like, honestly, you can tell. Like, you can honestly tell how, like, terrible it looks. Not to mention... It's like literally like white here, but but yeah, this is the O of T D. This is the O O T D. I have my Walmart skirt. I think these boots are from Pretty Little Thing. I'm not sure. They're really old. Amazon. Amazon. I don't know why I said it like that. Amazon. Um, and I think this is Am yeah, this is Amazon too. But, yeah, I needed to do, like, a slick hairstyle today. I put so much gel because, like, my little baby hair is right here. Ooh, let me hide that. I, like, put so much gel because my baby hair is right here. I keep falling out because I cut my hair really short. Um, but, yeah. So, this is the outfit. I'm kind of, like, really self-conscious because, like, in New York, there's, like, so many disgusting men on the streets. Like, the homeless guys and stuff. And, I don't know. I'm, like, kind of really uncomfortable to go out like this. So, Maybe I'll just do homework today, I don't know. It's been a, such a busy day. Look at my tanning lotion, it's literally fading. Oh my gosh, that's so gross. That's so aggravating too, oh my gosh. Okay, so today is a Wednesday. So I forgot to do my OOTD because I've been gone like all day. So this is the OOTD. This is my favorite outfit right now. I'm so comfortable. It's the set from Aerie. Um, so yeah, but like literally so stretchy. I feel so good in this. Um, but yeah, that is my OOTD. I have class today. So, I kind of got the day myself, which is really, really nice. So, I showed you my outfit. Today, I went thrifting, like, all day long, and my feet hurt so bad. Um, so this morning, I woke up at, like, 7 a.m. because I wanted to go do content for one of the brands for Instagram. Um, the content is for, like, this yoga slash towel, um, it's like a towel brand called Nomadics. Um, but their towel can be, like, for the beach, it can be for yoga, it can literally be for whatever. Um, and it's actually a really nice quality towel. And I had them actually ship it to my home because I went home for spring break, so I was going to do the content there. So I usually just do it at home or, like, at the park by my house. Um, but, like, because I had a respiratory infection, like, I was in the bed every single day sick. And so I had to bring it up here, which is, like, such a pain in the butt um because like it's a towel brand like even if it's for yoga apparently like fit is so freaking annoying i can't even i can't even begin to say how annoying some of the things fit does are to me like for example um the dance studio like at my other school back home literally we could just ask for like the key or something or like we could just it would be unlocked if we wanted to use like the dance studio the ballet studio um any of the rooms with the the stationary bikes like we could literally swipe our id and get in but here it's like you can't do that you have to be supervised um you can only come on the designated day for an open open gym session and it's just really freaking annoying. Like, I literally just need it for five minutes to shoot content because I waited an hour today at Madison Square Park. And because the lawns were supposed to open at 10 a.m. So I waited from 9.30 to, like, 10.30, hoping, like, maybe they're just getting late opening the gates or the lawns. And literally nothing. Like, someone put their little bitty dog down to go pee on the lawn for, like, four seconds. And the guy was like, you can't do that. Blah, 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 blah. And I'm just sitting here like, okay, let me just go. Because clearly they have no intention of opening the lawns for today. Um, So then that's why, like, that was at 10 a.m. Or at 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. That's why I was waiting. I was going to do it on the lawn and embarrass myself. 
by taking photos for a brand that I was going to do it because I said I would. And then that happened with the lawn thing. So that's why I went to FIT to try and use the ballet studio or the dance studio to do my content. Um, and then they won't let me do that either. And now I have to wait until like next Monday, I think, to use the ballet studio. And I'm just kind of like fed up with this school. Like for some reason, like e even like over the weekend, if you want to swipe your ID into the building to come study, because unlike my other school, there's only one study room in like the whole entire building in each of the dorms. Whereas like there was like a study room on each floor um, of the dorms back at home at my, at my other school. That's why I'm like honestly like so freaking tired of this school because like they have nowhere for you to study. They make so many demands. They don't have like free access to like the, the dance studios, the gym, and they won't let you in with a bag at the gym. Like you have to put it in the locker even though it's not monitored. So like someone could literally come steal your stuff. Um, and then they make you swipe your ID and then ask you all these questions, blah, blah, blah. And it's just really annoying, honestly and truthfully. But also like my AC has no, my dorm has no AC. So like right now I get hot so, so easily. So I have not been going to the gym. I really want to. However, I'm perfectly okay with waiting until summer to go start going back to the gym. Um, just because I'm too like, it's too hot in here. Like it's literally so hot in here right now. I'm like, my face is getting red. I don't know if you can like see, but it's really hot in here. Um, but anywho, so I have to figure out what the heck I'm gonna do for my content because it's literally due in a week, so I don't know. But, um, I'm so tired. Um, but on the bright side, I went to three thrift stores today. I actually wanted to go to more, but I'm like really happy that I didn't go to more. But I want to show you what I got because, like, they have literally the best thrift stores ever in New York City. And, like, I'm never going to have so much luck finding so many good things again. Okay, so the first thing I got is this top. It's from Cotton On. Um, but, like, I tried it on. It's a really cute, it's really stretchy um and it's like actually perfect to wear with anything to wear like underneath like a white button down with like tailored trousers or like wear with sweatpants or like it's like literally perfect um i got this from crossroads for 13 dollars and then i am not joking when i say i was looking for two things and two things alone before i went thrifting technically three things i was looking for like a leather jacket like a nice leather jacket that i could wear um literally forever because I'm trying to not do so much fast fashion anymore like this year I've been like so sort of converted into like anti-fast fashion and like I know I still go to like H&M and stuff but I'm trying to drift out of that um but for now I'm just gonna do what I can afford since I'm kind of in school and like I don't really have a full-time job or, or a salary yet so however I had a pair of Adidas I don't even know what they're called like the button pants that Adidas has, like the wide leg button pants. I don't know what that's called, like the Atta Break or whatever. Um, but I really wanted a new pair. Like I had a green pair and they were getting a little snug because um, I ordered them like online used from someone a while ago and they were just kind of like, eh. They're, they were kind of getting snug. So, but I, I found some black ones today and I'm literally, I wanted these so badly. I was prepared to spend $90, but I found one. So I found these. And they have all the buttons yeah honestly like one of the buttons is missing but like it's literally by the pocket so, i mean so i couldn't care less like it still looks like there's a button so i mean i really don't care um but these are like 20 something dollars isn't that crazy yeah 20 they were 23 because they gave me a discount because of the missing button but like they're really really nice so i got those and then i got this top for work this was 16 dollars but like actually perfect i really really like it i'll try it oh wait i don't think i took pictures i don't feel like trying any of this on right now i feel really really gross from today and the heat um but yeah maybe by the time this gets uploaded i'll have taken pictures and this stuff i'm not really sure um so and then there is this white crop top from zara and i know it's best fashion so like it's you know going against what i just said but i did thrift this so i don't think it really counts but the material's really thick and it's it's a crop top 
I was actually gonna get two today like there's a really cute gray one from J Crew, but I feel like I'm getting like a little older so I kind of want to like drift out of the crop tops but like I feel like this one was really thick so it'd be really nice for summer like so you can't see like through the bra like this you can see all the bra lines and stuff which is really it gets on my last nerve but so anywho and then I found this Ralph Lauren denim blazer I honestly really like this like I don't know if you can see all the way but it has like black buttons this I took a picture of for sure in the dressing room so I will definitely like attach a photo to this but like it goes kind of like right here on the arms and I really really like that and it's perfect so yeah I got that uh and then lastly I got I've been wanting a pair of leather pants for like literally ever and Levi's had a pair and I trust Levi's so I bought them but yeah they're these they have like a slight slight wide leg maybe like a I honestly I'm not even gonna try it's not wide leg but it's not like maybe it's like slim fit leg or something but anywho yeah so yeah this I got from Buffalo Exchange this I got from Second Street so but I think that's all I have for now um I will catch up with you guys later I'ma be a singer, I'ma play on the keys I can do whatever I want if I just believe Yeah, but then over the years Everybody's telling me to find a career huh. And I'll be rolling my eyes Thinking I'll be alright with my guitar by my side But now it's like 55 quid for my phone bill And a tenner for my bus pass too I wish I could go back and tell myself that Life is gonna hit you hard They say money won't buy you happiness But being broke really ain't a good time So all I want is just to get paid I know I ain't ashamed of trying to make a wage now Money, money, money Working nine to five and stifling the trees. The 
Tell me, think about the future, yeah But what if I don't even make it there? I don't wanna be worrying about that But that's been where my mind Cause now it's like 55 quid for my phone bill And a teller for my bus pass too I wish I could go back and tell myself that Life is gonna hit you hard They say money won't buy you happiness But being broke really ain't a good time So all I want it's just to get paid And now I ain't ashamed I'm trying to make a wage now Money, 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 money Makes the world go round Money, 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 money Money got me feeling down They said go and chase your dreams But never told me that I have to wake up
it's like 70 degrees during the day um so it gets really hot in the dorms but like i don't know why my face is so red so today today's a saturday i spent all day pretty much i think i say all day i got back at like three o'clock but that's like all day to me so i spent all day like walking i walked to the high line i walked to little island and then i walked even further past several of the piers in chelsea and it was really really relaxing um i felt like i really needed it and i feel so much better it was like honestly just like such a booster um so yeah i mean like i said i got back at three and like the dining hall was closed so i had to go to um whole foods and get like a like a frozen food thing it's like chicken parmesan frozen from whole foods it was pretty good but it was like a really small serving size um so yeah tomorrow i have central park with a friend but like honestly like the wind was so abusive today it was literally like hard to walk um at certain points like i said i was walking like like on the high line and along like the piers and little island so obviously that's all along like water so obviously it's gonna be a lot colder and it was it was so freezing cold today i had on like a wool coat and pants and i was still like freezing cold um but it was still like a really really relaxing day um i went by myself but like honestly like i loved it i got to listen to my music um i didn't have to like hear complaining from anyone about like being having their feet hurt because honestly like i feel like these walks like i've just been like on so many walks lately but they're just like really calming so um yeah i have that and today I have to do some journalism quizzes tonight and then later on well, right now i'm doing my youtube editing so i'm doing that um but that's probably all, all i have for the rest of the day and then monday um i don't know i don't know what we're gonna do on monday because our big project is due our buying project so i don't know but yeah i'm doing my editing right now and that should be fun i brought my tripod today like take cute pictures by the pier but like the wind was blowing so hard that like if I tried to set up my tripod, it would have flew into the freaking water. Um, so. But anywho, um, last night was so much fun. Oh my gosh, like, so me and my boyfriend, we wanted to have like a movie night because he's in accounting and he's been working like extremely. Um, so we each agreed to like get Chipotle and have like a little online Chipotle date. And we watched, um, we watched that movie Wish. It was cute. I mean, it was okay. Um, but we've, like, we've seen everything, so we didn't know what else to watch. Um, so yeah, we had, like, a little Chipotle slash movie night, um, over, um, over my iPad, if that makes sense, while we, like, FaceTimed. So, but yeah, that was really, really fun. Um, so yeah, I'll probably start, like, a new vlog right after this clip just because like the week is about to start fresh and i feel like it would be like really beneficial to like start a fresh vlog on a monday so okay well thank you so much for watching you are the best okay so i went i went to soho the other day we went thrifting and me and my roommate went buying stuff from zara she was looking for a birthday dress and i just wanted something um but i wanted to show you what i got so i think the only two places i got something that day are from Zara and Uniqlo, so stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing I got is from Zara. It's really cute for like a date night and because like where I'm from is so hot, this would be so in handy because it's kind of like very lightweight material. Okay, so here is the top on. It's actually a bodysuit, um, but I didn't tie it so it might look like bulky right here because I didn't like, like um, snap the bodysuit into place this is what it looks like it's so so cute i love it so much this is the back i have my little bra on obviously but i wouldn't wear this out with it but like this is the back yeah so no white bra but yeah it's very like kind of it's not see-through but it's very lightweight so like if you're like trying to wear this out for the beach this summer obviously don't wear the leather pants but like this would be so good with like some shorts or some like linen pants let's say but overall Zara really got it this time okay so next um I'm trying to show you the top I got from Zara the bottoms I got from Uniqlo hold on 
these were like $30 and this was $15. Um, I actually have the same shirt in white literally two years ago. I bought this shirt in white very recently. Someone put my, my shirt in the dryer and it had a stain on it and I forgot to like spray it before so I didn't take it out because I didn't know like I didn't see what was in the dryer already because it had somebody else had put it in and the stain won't come out. So the other day I went back and I found the same exact shirt from two years ago so I got it in white and black this time. And then these are like gingham print. They're very, very flowy. Like you can see how much they're flowing. They're not see-through, but they feel very lightweight. Like very, very lightweight, almost like a pajama pant, but they're very like, like they have a lot of space. Like my hips are a little wider. So I'm wearing the medium, but these fit really, really nicely. So. Okay, I also wanted to show you, I got this bag from Uniqlo. And honestly, it fits so much more than my belt bag from Lululemon. I just have like the general size belt bag from Lululemon. It's not like a, the bigger one. I know they have bigger ones, but it's just the generic size. But this literally fits so much, like look. Like actually crazy. Um, let me show you. So one of the problems that I face whenever I'm in New York is my water bottle cannot fit in my belt bag, my, my cute purses, but it does fit in this one. So yeah, it literally fits my water bottle, like life is good. And it was only $19, like these bags come in different colors, but they're only $19, so like definitely go check them out. Okay, also while I'm putting my clothes away, I wanted to just say, so it's a Sunday morning and like I completely got the plans mixed up. So one of my friends was supposed, to, I thought we were supposed to go today, like this Sunday, um, to Central Park, and I got it wrong. So she meant the following weekend, but like, I'm honestly kind of grateful because I have a lot of work to do, um, but like, honestly, when I woke up this morning, I was feeling so much, like, I had so much anxiety today, like, I worked up the courage to go to a coffee shop and read some of my book, but like, the seat I picked today, because it's like a Sunday morning in New York City, obviously. It's gonna be very hard to find a seat at a coffee shop. Um, so however, I did find a seat and the reason why I found a seat is because nobody wanted it because it was like broken. Um, so one of the screws was loose. So all morning, like it kept like shifting, like out of place. And like my back was kind of like crooked, it felt like. Um, so then like a little while later, a seat opened up by the window and I, obviously I like it had been open for a little while so I'm like okay I'm just gonna move so I moved but like point blank it was like my back was already hurting so I came back here and my eyebrows look really dark today I came back here and I just feel like the anxiety got so much worse and I don't know like I don't know like that there's just so many things going on that I'm like uncomfortable with that's making my anxiety go like insane um but yeah, so I'm just gonna do some video editing today. I'm gonna do some homework, probably some more reading of my book so I can write my paper. Um, and I think that is it. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you wanna see more of and please like, comment, and subscribe.